All right, we're back with another topic for fluoroscopy. Um, so in fluoro, there's something called magnification mode. I think some um, places called it multi-field uh, fluoroscopy, but when you've been in fluoro, you might have had a situation where you need to magnify the image or your radiologist magnified up. And there's a few things we should know about this. Obviously, uh, we're able to see a larger image, but what's going on in the background. So when say your radiologist wants to mag up one, needs to magnify the anatomy to look a little closer at something and get a better detail. Remember those electrostatic lenses that came together at a point before the anode or the output phosphor? That point where they come together is called a focal point. When you magnify up, that focal point moves forward closer to the input phosphor. So if you look up here, that focal point came forward. So when this happens, the input phosphor and the field of view gets smaller, right? You lose some of the outside of that anatomy because you've magnified up. So it's kind of like zooming in on your phone when you zoom into your picture. That's similar to what they're doing. This increases spatial resolution and contrast resolution, so they're able to view what they need. But when we magnify up and that focal point moves forward, it lowers the image brightness. So what happens is, remember that automatic brightness control that controls your MA in fluoro? That has to kick it up a notch. When we magnify up to maintain the brightness that we were using, we need more MA. And you guys know when you increase MA, you increase your patient dose. So magnification mode has some benefits, but it also increases patient dose. How could we see this asked in a question? Sometimes they could just give you the input phosphor sizes. They might give you four options and say, which one would increase patient dose the most? It would be the smallest input phosphor size. Why? Because that means there's a magnification mode present. Your machines, they'll vary with each vendor, right? Um, so what your buttons might look like may be a little bit different. So I gave you some examples here of ours that we have. On our floral machine, we have regular mode and then we have mag one, mag two, mag three. On my C arm, I have one picture here, but I hit it once for mag one, again for mag two, again for mag three. To get back to zero, I've got to hit it a fourth time. And so what your, your buttons might look like might be different. And as we advance, they might be different too. But most of the time, there's about three mag mode options. I just gave you a number four. <laughs> three mag modes, okay? Um, I gotta go back to preschool. Each time you mag up, the focal point moves forward. And so I love this picture. It's off of our floral machine. You can see the focal point is moving closer each time and the field of view is getting smaller each time. So if given the option and we could see this tied into a radiation safety question um, along with say magnification mode in image intensifier. The focal point moves forward, the input phosphor decreases and the field of view is also decreasing, but the patient dose is increasing. So they're gonna use it probably sparingly or only when they need it. And um, that's important to recognize. Here are just some examples of magnifying up. So, you know, normal, the mag up one, you can clearly see that we are losing some ability to see some areas of anatomy, but the detail here is increased of the area that I wanna see. Magging up again made it even more detailed, but I lost, um, you know, quite a bit of the anatomy. So just um, examples of that or what it might look on your C-arm setting um, and that the field of view will change with each magnification mode. Magnification can also happen without using any buttons. Um, so if you go back to your mobile fluoroscopy, remember that mobile fluoro, your C-arm? The position of your image intensifier to your patient can cause magnification. This tends to confuse some students here. So 
if it helps, I want you to think of your image intensifier as your wall bucky and your x-ray source is your tube. So if your patient's standing for a PA chest against the wall bucky, you would put that patient right on that wall bucky, right? You would decrease the OID. Why? Because you want to decrease the magnification of the heart, right? So this is a similar concept. It's just upside down a little bit. So if we go back to my Lego C arm here, when you drive in and your patients say on the OR table to decrease OID, you would bring the image intensifier closer to the patient. You would bring the source farther away from the patient. So remember your image intensifier is like your wall bookie or your imaging plate. You would want the patient close to it. Sometimes in the OR um, with surgical things and if you're doing a rotting or a T-lift and there's stuff outside the patient, you should not get so close where you're touching those. But if we're talking questions about um, reducing magnification in mobile fluoroscopy, you would want to decrease OID by bringing the image intensifier closer to the patient, not the source on the bottom. And so this picture here, I think was helpful for that. Um, so this is like the bottom of your C-arm. This is your x-ray source. And this is with the patient as close to the II as possible. So this is decreasing OID, and as the patient gets closer to the source, um, the OID increases. This will also come into play when we talk about source to skin distance and being aware of that. So we wanna make sure we're aware of the source to our patient's skin, because um, there are set um, distances that we need to follow for that to make sure we aren't um, being harmful to the patient's skin and increasing their dose more than necessary. So this is a way to use the magnification concept without pressing the magnification button. So just remember magnification is your size distortion. It's caused by OID and SID. So going back to your image production and distortion things, to reduce magnification, you would bring the patient closer to the image intensifier or reduce your OID. I hope that's helpful.